with its blueprint being available only by taking out a Trusk Thumper, either, either the Bull or the Dormer on the Plains of Eidolon and it being a Mastery Rank 9, the expectations for this were huge. Also glad it's actually showing you that this is a kickboxing style weapon which means punches and kicks, so hands and feet, rather than it being just the feet as it was when this was actually first added because it concentrated on that which was slightly annoying. It has a 31% crit chance with a 9% status chance. 25, there's definitely more impact base with a lot of slash, tiny little bit of puncture. Mm, 2.5 crit chance multiplier. Could make this thing pretty damn good. And one polarity. It comes with a V, which is obviously the best of the polarities. Now let's be honest, the 0 0.833 attack speed, you would expect this thing to be pretty horrible. I did end up swapping the polarity for the stance for this so it could run Grim Fury. It has Prime Pressure Point, Blood Rush, Body Count, Organ Shatter, True Steel, Berserker, and I do believe this one was running viral with Vicious Frost and Virulent Scourge. I only changed the polarity because of this week's Wolf of Saturn 6 where you had to form our three things, and this was equipped, so I just kind of. Swap the polarity for the stance because I really didn't like the jumping forward of the other stance that was in this. It was... Brutal Tide is not that bad of a stance but it just depends on which way you play with melee. I preferred Grim Fury, it was in here anyway so I just formatted it to put in there. Really, that was a waste of a format. Same as everybody who says running True Steel with uh, Blood Rush and Body Count as the crit setup is also kind of a waste. This thing didn't have an amazing status, so I'd have status on there just to try and get it to kick in every now and then. Berserker and, well, just really Berserker is the reason that True Steel is in here, which means that when it crits, it's got a chance of critting quicker than it does if you take it off and it has a lower crit chance. Organ Shatter, of course, 4.8 times multiplier. It's now doing four times the damage. It's doing twice the damage it was doing without it. So, yeah, organ shatter was always going to be in there. Body count and blood rush kind of goes without saying. And pressure, prime pressure point. I actually was going to defend that one, but I don't really see the point because I have had somebody keep going in and and telling me you don't need to run prime pressure point to make a weapon good. No, but if you take it off, it's a lot worse. So. Not really sure why I was going to defend that one. But with it being the second highest base damage of all of the, I referred to them as kickboxing weapons, I think they're actually referred to as sparring weapons behind the Kogaki Prime, I think it is. The only real downside to this is the fact that it needs more fish bones, uh, Breath of the Eidolon, uh, Eshad Devar, and some other alloy, a Roxian alloy, to build this thing. Yeah, it's only dropped by the Trusk Thumpers and that makes getting these things a pain in the butt because those guys don't spawn as often as they really should. Which is understandable but at the same time not so because they've released a weapon that the only place to get the blueprint is from these things and they're just not spawning enough but... The idol, the only real bad part for the building it is the breath of the idol on things. Well, you're gonna have to do the higher level bounties on from Cetus in the plains to be able to get those things. And there was the rumor of it having kind of like a, a life steal built into it, just like the Hirudo, but not really sure if that's a bug or not because I've read through the bug and fixes and haven't come across anything yet. I really doubt that's kind of a thing. I was kind of expecting a new stance with these considering it, came, it comes from either the Bull Thumper or the Dormer Thumper. There's only the two of them. The Dormer's actually got a higher chance of 5% of dropping these. The Bull has a 2.5. But considering it drops from them, I was expecting a new stance where you ground pound and you basically punch the floor a few times and send out shockwaves. I was sorely disappointed that was not a thing. But at the same time, these were... The sparring weapons are actually pretty good. 
I've mentioned in the past a few times that having sparring weapons, you are in the tenno, you are a space ninja. So being able to use your fists to punch and kick, well, I know you don't kick with your fists, you kick with your legs, but you get where I'm going at with this one, made it... It's nice. I like weapons like this. This was a lot of fun to use. The only massive downside to this is, well, I kind of like the vicious approach stance, which is a PvP only thing, which is every time I come across sparring weapons, it's a huge disappointment that that is still a PvP only stance. I mean, just look at it. If it had have had a stance where you can punch the ground over and over again, like the Thumpers do, these things would have been great. They still are. I do like my sparring weapons. I always have. I've said during Zanuka videos of the past that I wish that they just give us the option to run. If you've taken merely a weapon off, you can still punch and kick. This is the best and closest thing we have to this. Obviously, the Kogaki Prime is still number one for these. But this is a good contender to take the throne. It's just a huge shame that it only had a 0.833 attack speed. Can live with the status. The crit is still fairly nice. It had a nice amount of damage, but 0.833 attack speed. The Kogaki Prime remains the best, which was a huge disappointment. I still think I'll go for these because they're a little bit more subtle than the Kogaki Prime is, just because the Kogaki Prime has those weird bars, plus it's a Prime, so it has all that shiny gold effect to it, so it can stand out a lot, whereas these can be very subtle in your hands and look pretty damn nice. But anyway, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.